Okay, so step five. Now what we've done up until now is really just set up. What we're actually about to start doing in this part of the mini series is actually starting some classification. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna be working in Jupyter Notebook. So if you installed in Anaconda in step one, you're all set up to do this. If not, head back over to that step and actually start installing Anaconda and then come back to this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use Jupyter Notebooks to play with, with our uh, visual recognition service. So to do that, what we wanna do is start up the Jupyter Notebook server. And to do that, we'll, inside of the terminal, we'll just type in Jupyter Notebook. And this should open up inside of our browser. So it's opened up down there. Alrighty, and what we'll do is we'll create a new notebook and then we'll start coding. So this is all in Python at the moment, so I'm using Python 3, you can see that here. Now the first module that we wanna install is JSON, so we're gonna install JSON. Boom, we're done. And remember we installed Watson Developer Cloud. So now we're gonna import some modules from Watson Developer Cloud to allow us to actually work with the API. So we're gonna go from Watson Developer, oh, sorry. Cloud import visual recognition v3. Perfect. And those are the two libraries that we're going to need for this. Now, what we're going to do now is create an instance of our service. So we're going to connect to our service or a, an instance connection. And we're going to call that visual recognition. And we're going to use the visual recognition module or object that we just imported and create a new instance of that, v3. And this takes a few parameters. So the first of the, is the version of the API that you're connecting to. Now, I believe the latest is 2018-03-19, 19th of March. And what we need to pass in next are the credentials that we generated when we created our new API credentials. And to do that, we'll pass through some arguments, so I am, and then API key, and then we're gonna pass through a string, and that string is going to be this API key string here. Now, just keep in mind that you've gotta pass through your own credentials, those are obviously my credentials, so replace them with the ones that you've created. And we're gonna hit enter, and we've now created a new instance. Now, what we can actually do now is start getting together some data to actually classify. So, say we wanna classify a really basic image of just a computer, for example. What we can do is head over to our good old mate Google and grab an image of a computer. Let's try this one for now. And we just need to copy the image address. Let's just double check that's gonna work. Yep, so it needs to have JPG or JPEG or be some sort of image format on the end for this to work. So we're gonna type in URL equals and we're gonna pass through our URL. So we've got that. And now we're gonna create a new uh, call to our service, so we're gonna go call that result because what we're gonna get back is our result. And so we're gonna go visual recognition to our service here, so we'll copy that, dot, and now we're gonna call a method with, from our service. So in this instance, we're gonna be calling the classify method because we're looking to classify our images. Later on, when we look at detecting faces, we're gonna be using the detect faces method and eventually once we start creating our own custom models, we're gonna be using something else again. So here we're gonna use classify. And we'll, what we wanna pass in there is our URL, so our argument. So we're gonna call URL equals URL. And then we're gonna say get result. And hopefully, brilliant. So that line has run. Now, nothing's actually happened, and that's because the result is actually stored in the result variable. So to get our result out, we want to print the JSON result. So we're going to go json.dumps. I'm going to say result, and then we're going to go uh, do, 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 indent equals two. Boom. All right. And you can see here that we've got our result. So this is uh, the JSON result that we've got back from calling our classify method against our URL. And you can see here that it's actually come back with a few different classes. So it's classified desktop computer, which I mean is pretty accurate. And it's come back with a reasonably high score on that. And you can see it's, 
it's done pretty well. I mean, personal computer, digital computer, computer, machine, system, and not so bad, not so great. I mean, coal black color, I mean, not too bad. But all in all, you can see that it's actually classified that image correctly. So that's the basic step to actually using this classifier or building your own classifier. Now in step or in our next video, what we're gonna be doing is using it to, to get a little bit more specific and start classifying things like food.